You guys have ruined Spark and Zero for everyone. I have never seen a more toxic community in gaming aside from the Sonic community. Let me start off by saying that I still enjoy Spark and Zero and I still give a rave review for the game. There's one thing I would recant from my review though, at least to a certain extent, that being the online experience at least for me personally. I don't mind losing. I don't. I don't really care and inspires me to improve upon the game. My issue when it comes to my online experience has to deal with the lag and input delays, but more so that included with people using high tier characters. I set my preference to have at least 4 bars for the person on the other side, yet I would get someone with a terrible connection using Mastered Ultra Instant Goku. And if I were to gain the upper hand, the other player is liable to just rage quit without no penalties. Which is a negative for the game in of itself, that there is no penalties for rage quitting, but hopefully that gets patched in at some point so that these people don't abuse the system. As for using high tier characters in general, I'm sort of mixed on that. While you are within your rights to play these certain characters after spending 70 bucks on the game, it doesn't make you any less of a bitch if you play them. But whatever, at least for me personally, it's not going to take a mental toll on me. At the end of the day, I know it's a video game, I can just easily log off. That being said, the community in of itself is toxic AF. First of all, you try hard to ruin the game for newer players and even older players getting back into the Tenkaichi series. The game hasn't been out even a month and you guys are doing the most ridiculous combos and techniques and all that sort of crap. Now I'm not saying for you to not get good at the game, I mean that's the point of playing a fighting game like this, but the issue is you guys are going OD, especially with it only being a month, barely a month into the game's life cycle. You are ruining potential players from joining in the future pipeline because there's no real good barrier to entry anymore. It's either you're really super skilled at the game or you're below bottom tier. It is no in between. Especially if you are using high tier characters, you're not making people want to try other characters out to get a better advantage. They're just strictly going for the MUI Gokus, the Gogetas of the world. Like, you guys aren't making this game more palatable for us all. Now, you could argue by saying, well, why don't you just get good? But I'm going to counter by saying that you should touch grass. You trying this hard at the game is going to give you some MLG points. Speaking of which, if it hasn't been made clear already, this game is supposed to be on balance. It makes sense why Acrylon in this game is different from Acrylon in Dragon Ball Fighters, since Fighters is supposed to be a more traditional fighting game, while this 3D arena game is supposed to be unbalanced. I bring this up to say that no one is going to be wanting to see this game competitively speaking, so there's no point in trying this hard at the game, ruining it for everyone. There was already a tournament had for this game, and apparently it lasted over 40 minutes in the final match. That is ridiculous. No game should last that long. Seeing multiple after images for 2 minute straights isn't going to go well at EVO. This game is meant to just have fun, not for real true competitiveness, so chill out. It also doesn't help with real human connections as well. I've seen new players try to get into the game in their community, whether it be their YouTube or Twitch channels, and people are just raving on them for sucking at the game as if it's not their first time which it is. This is bad because it's going to turn people away from the game in general for the long term and this game is going to die out quicker. Now I don't think this game will fully die out because number one is Dragon Ball and Xenoverse is still around, I believe Fighter is still around as well, but doing this is a limiting factor for the game for the long haul. Now all games die out at some point, but this game has a shorter lifespan if you guys keep on with the toxic traits. So I'm pleading with you guys, chill out, enjoy the game, let's have some fun. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the community of Dragon Ball Spark and Zero is perfectly fine as is? What will you change about it, if any? And do you think it's going to be positive going forward? I'd love to get y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to get my thoughts of the game in general, click the card you see here, which will take you to my review of Spark and Zero. I'm the Curly Hodokage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.